Hi guys, welcome back to another Snake Bite video. Subscribe, hit the notifications, and hit the thumbs up. Today we're going to do how to take care of um, home worms. Um, make sure to have a proper enclosure. We're going to upgrade them to the, a butterfly cage. Um, we got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, we got a tomato plant for them. Um, if you're going tomato, if you're going to grow a tomato plant, uh, you might need some of this. That they no not fungus gnats um, to ruin your plants. It's, it's organic and harmless to your plants. Let's get started now. Take everything in here out. I removed everything. Now it's set up the home ones, but first, if you buy one of these, you can get your own caterpillars to um, put in here. And you also come with this. I don't know why. Come with it. Has all the destructions had to take care of your worms as well. Your little worms are your order. Now let's put in the tomato plant. If it can get in there. Hopefully it's possible. There you go. I don't like that. Now, if you don't want to buy a tomato plant, you can just use the home more food in here. Um, and you can flip it over for ventilation. But now we're going to put the home worms in. These are specifically this. Oh my god, you're so fat. You're so juicy. You look so juicy. You look fat, eh? He was, he's laying on his side munching on a zucchini stem. Why? Because you're a hornworm. <laughs> we thought this morning he was going for a cocoon, but he wasn't. But he's almost there. He is. He's eating a lot of food. This is the biggest homeworm ever I ever saw. It might think, oh, the little stingle looking thing looks like it can hurt you or be pointy and looks like it will be like a bee sting, but no, you can just touch it and it won't do anything to you. <laughs> now it's bitter moon somehow. I don't touch you. If you don't touch me with your weird mouth looking thing. No, he pooped on me. <laughs> Ew, that's poop right there. <laughs> It's home worm poop. Worm poop. Oh, there he goes, munching away. Yummy, yum. Hold it right there. He's munching and munching and munching. Maybe he likes a zucchini. Now let's put him in an enclosure. This is going to be a struggle to get the other guy out. I might need my mom's help because it's going to be so much struggle because they have little hooks on their feet. To make sure I got already the big guy in there. Now I need to do this. There he is. I got this guy. Now let's put him in there. Open up. I'll need him on. It's nice and tucked away. Now we're gonna put these guys in the starter cage, and while they get, and when they get up to his size or, or his high, his size, the bigger, we will put them in there. And what are these guys? These are also home worms, and they're really tiny, especially one. Cute, one tiny one. Oh, they're so cute! Oh, we got a six. <laughs> we use home worms for um, if you if you saw the feeding video with my beer dragons, we are gonna. We tested one home worm with Tuculus, um for feeding. So we're gonna use them for feeding, raise them up, and then feed them to our bearded dragons. Awesome. That tiny guy says, oh my god, he's so tiny. My mom is gonna um, cut some of this little netting here and sew it in our little terrarium. I know we already have one, but we're gonna do multiple because there's five in here. 
four, actually, it's going to do three, one. But um, that's what she's going to do right now. Now we have everything sewed in. Let's put the nasty paste in there and clean the little one. Who we have on the sidelines because he's so tiny. Yeah. This is going so nasty. Now that we have the paste in, now it's at the little guy. Oh, he's so tiny. He's so cute. Where am I going to put him? Right there. I'm going to put him right here. Just munching away. While you're taking care of homeowners, make sure to clean out their poop if they poop uh, a lot. Rotate vegetation. So they have fresh food to eat. So they have fresh food to eat. Okay. That's going to wrap it up for today's video.